Alright, welcome back, and as you can probably tell by the possibly visible ship of our starboard beam, that would be an Omaha-class cruiser, or maybe a Phoenix-class, considering uh, it does have the uh, side port, sideways gun port, so I think the Omaha's had the uh, forward turret. Either way, it's an American cruiser. We have managed to return safely back to Pearl Harbor. And in fact, the only contacts we've seen after disengaging from the convoy was friendly shipping outside the uh, mouth of Pearl Harbor, so I'd say we're pretty lucky. And of course, however, the uh, weather is not very conductive to video making right now because it is, uh, well, pitch blackout and raining. I think also maybe a thunderstorm because I think I did hear a little bit of lightning here and there. So we'll let the Exo take her in. She's gonna be, he's gonna be the, uh, the fall man in case anything, uh, goes wrong. So, and patrol. Yes, Doc. We completed the patrol, it completed on the way back. Sunk four merchant ships for 9,097 tons. Not our best, uh, not our best patrol. Second of March. We've got it. Our intel guys have broken the Japanese communications code, and we finally have the chance to do something real about it. A Japanese amphibious assault is on its way towards Port Moresby. The fall of Port Moresby and the rest of New Guinea would provide the Japs with a platform ideally placed for an offensive towards New Caledonia, Fiji, and Samoa, which would cut our supply lines between Hawaii, Panama, and Australia. It would also strengthen the line of defense for their newly acquired oil sortie. Since we stopped them to the north on the mountain line, Japan's only choice is to approach through Coral Sea for the attack. Our intelligence predicts that invasion forces would be escorted by at least two fleet carriers. To counter their intentions, we have ordered the only two battle-ready carriers we have at the moment to take position off the New Hebrides. With help from land-based air power, we might match the Japanese attack and turn the tables on them. To support this operation, our submarines will patrol the area between New Britain and Bougainville. They will provide advanced scouting to the U.S. task force and may get to take a shot at a Japanese flat top. April 10th, 19... Yeah, there we go. April 10th, 1942. So we now have new orders. Well, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be new orders. We are going to be... Uh, going after a flat top. I'm going to take the Mark 14, so it'd be better of the two torpedoes. At least as many as them I can. I prefer not to take Mark 10s. They're just slower and have worse range than the Mark 14s, even up to higher speed. And that could be dangerous, considering we're potentially hunting flat tops. Which, by design, have to go pretty fast in order to be able to launch get launch aircraft. You know, I'm just going to drain the base of Mark 14s. It's fine. Not many Mark 14s left. Oh well. Can't ever ha can't have everything. We got promotions. You get promoted. You get promoted. Uh, torpedoes. Your deck watch. Let's give you a watch promotion. There are already torpedoes. Uh, lots of promotions. Um, I'll give you a promotion. Engines. Guns, since you guys are the anti aircraft guns, deck gun group, deck gun, deck grunt, deck gun crew guys. I can speak English, I swear. Although you wouldn't know it based on uh, my talking today. There we go. Alright, we also got some medals too. We got Medal of Valor for a couple guys. Uh, let's get to the damage of these guys since they man the deck guns normally. I mean, they didn't get it on the or, uh, didn't get it on the last mission, although they might have been hold o held over. So, I'm Valor. 
Let's give Conning Tower Officer Patrol Star, Deck Watch Officer Patrol Star. Let's give the Engine Room Officer a Patrol Star along with uh, you. I'm just handing these out at random at this point. And then Wounded Badge. I think these guys were the two wounded ones, so they get the wounded badge. Senior Petty Officer and Petty Officer Third Class. Right then. That's that all done. Yeah, let's look here. Um, I see radar. We have three cal. We can take a 450 cal. 450 cal first instead of a 3 inch. At least I think it's a 4 inch 50 caliber. I'm gonna guess it's a 4 inch 50 caliber. Let's go with that. Up on our, up our deck gun. A little bit. We have an SD radar already. And there's no surface, there's no uh, surface search, just only air search. And we got full load torpedoes. Rank skill. Let's grab a couple more uh, torpedo men for the aft torpedo tubes. That way, these guys can just per uh, continuously man the deck guns and, if need be, filter into the aft torpedo tubes. That seems like a good plan to me. Look at the top skippers. We're still the top skipper, 50,000 tons. In fact, we're going to be top skip skipper for a little bit. Uh, RJ Moore's got 5,000. WE Farrell's got 6,000. And Blake's got 2,600. I guess we just had the better patrol areas. And also the fact that we went into a couple of uh, Japanese ports probably helped our, uh, to our tonnage's totals. So. Operational. Oh, we're not going down there? on April 25th, shuttle off Hokkaido Island and engage enemy shipping. Alright then, I guess we're patrolling off, uh, same area we were patrolling off last time, which was a hotspot for convoys. Which I won't turn that down, because convoys equal a good bit of uh, potential targets. And start dock tender. Yeah, dock tender. Sure. There is a nice little painting, and then just a quick look at the uh, new deck gun. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a larger caliber. Just want to double check and get ourselves underway. Yes, sir. Yeah, there we are. Looks like Battleship Rose been cleaned up. No, actually it hasn't. Never mind. Don't mind me. It's still not been cleaned up. There's still Battleship sunk in Battleship Row. Also, there's two carriers in port. If they're going to do that cutscene, say, oh, well, our only two operational carriers are going to be down there, and also, we're going to be fighting down there. Why wouldn't you not remove the carriers from Pearl and send them down there? Oh, so that crane is floating. As are, I think, a lot of things are actually floating. Yeah, so is that crane. And that vehicle is going way fast. Cool your jets, buddy. Yeah, I think a lot of things are floating because it was designed not to be viewed from up here. Not from up here. From this perspective. I mean, they're kind of in place. Anyway. Wanted to look at the... 
So surface the boat, don't dive. I wanted to go here. Just remember if there is a uh, ammunition button. I guess there's not. Oh well. Let's uh, get underway, and I will break things off here. And I'll bring you back when we encounter the enemy. So I will see you then. A little aside, we found a nice little escort group, which I don't have a problem with, but inside this escort group, there appears to be three New Mexico class battleships. One with a double turret configuration, the aft to four turrets, and then two with the triple gun turret, and then fleet carrier oilers, which I'm, I don't have a problem with. But I'm, I don't think there was that many New Mexico class battleships that you could have. Four or so sunk at Pearl Harbor, and then you still have three roaming around. I think there was only four of them, although I'm going off memory here, off look, and hopefully editing me will do a thing in the thing that their words. I'm wondering I'm right, but I think there's only four or something like that in New Mexico's. And then also, another thing. If you're going to say that, oh, subs are going to go here, we actually have objective for subs to go there. And, uh, oh, so there was four carriers still in Pearl Harbor. If you only have two carriers left, why are there four in Pearl Harbor? And just a little random aside, thought I would vent a little bit. But the way the game has been betraying things, like, oh, there's only two left. And then there's four still floating Pearl Harbor that haven't moved. And then there's lots of what, what I think is most of New Mexico's smashed at Pearl Harbor as well. And then there's three New Mexico's fine sailing around in a fleet. But, uh, that little aside over, I will, uh, things off here again and I will bring you back when hopefully we encounter the enemy and not more New Mexico's so I will see you then oh dear time to dive uh, anti-aircraft gunners it's time to earn your keep 145 There it is there. That's a Betty. Yes, sir. Hard to board. Yes, sir. Uh, maneuver kill? What? How? How? Yes, sir. Service the boat. There it is. Yes, sir. Hard to starboard. I'm sorry, Betty. Um, you hit the water. How are you still flying? This is an important question that I would like answered. A very important question, because you sh really should not be flying. Give the Betty a few parting shots. It's over in that direction. Of course, it won't hit, but uh, yes, sir. Run it. Run it. first little engagement of our new patrol is with a Betty, which 
really should have died. Not sure why I didn't, but uh, there you have it. So I'll keep us going, and hopefully no more um, Bettys will um, will pull that maneuver. But I'll bring you back when we find something else. Well, looks like we found something else already. Oh, it's our Betty friend again. There he is. He already dropped his bombs, so we should be pretty safe. Oh, I got an engine. Splash one, Betty. Who is still continuing to fly. All right, sure. Um, have a safe trip. Bon voyage. Au revoir. Oh, there he goes. He's going down now. Well, Betty came back, and uh, she had a bad time. Once again, I will break things off here. And I'll bring you back when we find something else. Hopefully not that the same Betty again, considering she's now crashed fully into the ocean this time. Please don't come back. So I'll, I'll see you when we find something else.